Tron. Somebody was hungry today, wasn't he? I guess hating all those Mondays really worked up an appetite, didn't it? Now, hold on a second, let me get that. Hello? Oh God, I forgot that's part of your body! And let me tell you, that's not the only talking cat I got in this house. And no, by the way, I'm not referring to Talking Tom. I'm referring, of course, to the state-of-the-art cult classic hit, The Talking Cat, uh, exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. So for your viewing displeasure, and without further ado, I bid thee the tidings of a talking cat. Oh, look, this film was produced by the Fantastic Four. Oh, I'm really liking what they've done with it here. Well, I guess this is as good a time as any to show you guys my new revamped logo. Do you like it? The movie starts with like a minute of establishing shots, like any of these ultra low budget films do. Really trying to squeeze every last bit to hit that feature length finish line. I like your watch. I always have. Um, what? Who's wrong. speaking? Like Is it the cat? The or did the director just leave the mic on in the editing bay and forget to take it out? Sounds like he might have had one too many. He's straight on to giving life lessons to anyone in earshot. I've heard him say, it's the simple things we should appreciate most. <laughs> And right now, it's the wind in the trees and the smells in the air. This place has magic. Excuse me, sir, you're polluting the audio. You speak when spoken to, maggot! So, um, there's a cat rolling around. You know, why not? I know as much as you do at this point. And there it is, folks! That's how you know this is real! This is happening! The person titling this movie was clearly just as confused as the rest of us! Mm, mm, mm. Nothing says home quite like a dead tree. Honey, I'm home. Oh wait, is this my house? I think this might actually be the local art museum. <sighs> if only I was twice as rich. What is this house? Did they just rent this for the few days they were shooting? I guess we know where the budget went. Wait, is that a fucking tree? Wearing high heels? In the corner? Of the house? What's going on? What the hell, does this house belong to a serial killer? Is there a woman's body inside of that tree? Where is she? This thing is hideous. <laughs> That's not even a scripted thing. That's just real. He just walked in there and said, hey, is that a tree wearing shoes? It's gonna be one of those days. By the way, very interesting observation coming from a man who has a um, uh, half a car uh, in his living room uh, within the same shot. I think when this is not the weirdest thing in frame at any one given point in time, you know you're onto something magical. Room, room. Beep, 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 beep. Why do you always do that, Dad? Yeah, Dad, every day with this shit. Every day I'm sitting here reading my book, you waltz in the door, make a car noise at me. I'm supposed to like it? Oh, fuck you, Dad. And honestly, uh, if it was a choo-choo train noise, maybe I would laugh. A <laughs> car noise? What do I look like to you? Some sort of big baby? I go too far for this one? So, after the painstaking intro, we meet these two fellows. The father comes home to say that he sold his vague company along with all its assets. It's over. What's over? The company. What does the company do? I don't know. What did it sell? I don't know either. Something about, uh, code? We sold the websites. The, the websites? Interface. The interface too? The code that I worked half my life on? Oh god, I could understand the interface, but you sold the code? Think of who you're affecting. Now they say that I've got enough money to retire. Who says that? Did you already have enough money? That's what they say. <laughs> Who's they? What are they saying that for? Guess I'll, uh, hang out here at the house for a while. Maybe we could spruce it up a little bit. Didn't you hire a decorator? Won't they get mad? They keep referencing the decorations and even the fact that they used an interior designer. I'm assuming this is because the director knew the house looked out of place. What was I thinking? Maybe we could go on those trips that we talked about. What trips? I held my son's lifeless body in my arms. I asked God why. Why is his son such a dick anyways? He's just over here lounging around in a pool of money inside his dad's mansion. His dad's just trying to be nice to him and he wanted to give him the time of day. Maybe we'll order pizza later. Yeah, if you're lucky, Dad. Also, spiral staircase. I gotta say, one of the worst methods of a dramatic exit. Ugh, I hate you, Dad! Uh, just ignore this part. I'm still mad at you. Okay, off I go! 
This is some great church music. Dorothy, over there, I see you. You're killing it on the harpsichord tonight. I mean, I wasn't expecting a John Williams score, but this soundtrack is so mismatched. It's making me depressed. Hello? Hi, is this Chris Barber from Mr. Garvey's class? Who is this? I hear you still calling about the smell? I told you I don't got access underneath my floorboards. Um, no. I mean, yeah, I, I mean... Ah, come on, spit it out, Romeo! Apparently, this girl is calling to get English lessons from the sun. This guy's teaching English? Okay, I don't know if that's your forte, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm good at English, so... Are you sure? Yeah, sure, I'm sure. Yeah, what me look like? Some sort of ape man? Ha, huh, that funny. If me ape, why me kill for banana? Oh! Anyway, um... Uh... My parents can't pay much. Oh, I mean, that's, I mean, come on, no payment necessary. I mean, no shoes, no shirt, no service. It's gonna flood! What does that mean? Yeah, I guess, uh, I... It's like Niagara Falls out there! Then, mysteriously, a cat walks by, and no one knows where it came from? Kitty? Hey, yeah. What, what was it? Huh? Okay, I know we're talking about a talking cat here. Okay, I wasn't expecting award-winning sound design, but did you have to record this in the fucking catacombs? That's like the worst reverb I've ever heard in a film. Anyways, moving on. Did we get a cat? No. Why? What do you do when you like a girl? What? Uh, How does that relate? Well, you, you were just asking about the cat. You, you gonna forget about the loose wild animal in your house? Oh, I did see a cat, that one. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's weird, right? Oh, yeah, I did see that, that one, that cat. I saw that cat right there, it's that cat. Went, went right through that cobweb. Hey, let's go order that pizza, huh? Yeah, okay, that sounds about right. Okay, so it seems the scene shifts to an evergreen forest now. Has anyone seen my shoes? Uh-oh. I've got to start setting up at the Sims cocktail party. And they're not gonna want to see my toes. Y your toes? What's wrong with your toes? You got like hobbit feet? Y you planning on stomping some grapes live at that party, lady? Hey, mom. Yes, Tina. And no, you can't go to business college. Uh, uh but about that, she didn't, you know, uh, uh, say anything about that. Oh, uh, what can I say, mom? You uh read my mind. Where did you get that? She was just trying to help you find your shoes. Also, what kind of modern person is opposed to their daughter going to business college? You're not going to your silly business school. You will stay at home and become an artist just like your mother. And in time, you'll learn to hide those wretched toes as well. But mom, I didn't even say which one. Just face it, you are too brilliant and smart. To waste your time going to get a higher education, which you have just established she is capable of. Okay, no, that's, that's good. I just want to know, make sure that's where we're going with that. <laughs> Don't look at them! They're hideous! I belong in the bell tower! You call me the freak, but you're all the freaks with your five-toed feet! So, I'm sorry. Quit bug your mom about business college. What? Why? She didn't say anything about it! Is it just that this girl all day, that's all she talks about? So everyone's just anticipating it without her even saying it in the moment? Really strange thing to bring up unprovoked. Why don't you shut it? Why don't you shut it? You're the annoying one. What a big happy family we got here. I hate you, Trent. Ditto. Can you guys give it a rest and help me find my shoes, okay? Or I won't feed you this week. What a big happy family we got here. Aren't they outside on the porch? Oh, is it those? Right there? In our direct line of sight? Wow, I got them. Found them, Mom. Can I have my weekly rations now? Hi there. Was that a cat? We got a regular zoologist here. He, he recognized that cat like, like that. Oh, you can see the damn laser pointer. They didn't even try. You can also see cat food on the ground right next to the cat everywhere it is so they could get it to sit there. I think so. I wonder what it wanted. But it takes real magic to connect the right people at the right time. So yes, as it turns out, the voice is definitely the inner monologue of the cat. He talks about helping these people, which he or they give no reason for. Oh, hey, kitty. So the old man walks outside to once again find the cat, and it's revealed that the name of the cat is Duffy. Also, I think this cat knows this movie's gonna be bad for its career and reputation, seeing as the man has to keep breaking its neck back into position to keep it looking at the camera. I told you to stop rubbing my ears. Huh. Oh no, Duffy slammed a few back again. Keep calm and keep rubbing. Okay, well maybe you can get some sun out here, huh? And if you could grab me a bowl of milk, that would be great. Um, excuse me, what? We're where now? That's supposed to be where they live? 
They clearly were like in LA or Arizona or something like that. And then they just showed an establishing shot from a different hemisphere. Small world, huh? No, li literally, very small. A very small world for that to be possible. Mm -hmm. Did someone mention my name? <laughs> Okay, and we're back to the other house. Not sure what the relation is at all. By the way, is this laptop uh, massive or is she just very tiny? I'm not jaded, I just know what I want. Unlike some people. I heard that. Oh, come on! Next time you're gonna insult the door frame, at least make sure it's not an earshot. That's just careless. Why don't I ask the Sims about an internship for you? How much does it pay? I don't know. Besides, toys and stuff is for people with imaginations and creative type stuff. Be still, young Isaac Newton. Think any harder when you might hurt yourself. Toys and stuff is for people with imaginations and creative type stuff. Yeah, toys and stuff is for smart type people and stuff, not little baby boys like me. Why well, look like some sort of brainiac? I'm gonna fix that loose fence. Yeah, you do that. I have a feeling you're gonna be finding yourself fixing a lot of fences around here in the coming future. That's sweet. They let him think he's helping. There ain't no bit inside that drill. Oh, he's out there for hours every day doing the same hole. The fence is beautifully built. It's fine. It doesn't need anything. He's just, he just thinks he's helping. We think he likes you. Guys are just clueless like that. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's the same. I know. I know. I know. It's real. I am such a good friend. Read your beeping machine. Oh my god. I don't know if I can let that slide. You're a cat. Read your machine. And you're talking? How? And can you believe they accomplished it all on such a, a low budget? Inspiring what hard American work will get you in this. Excuse me, what do you think you're doing on my wall, huh? You think you're something special, Mr. Joel? Now, this, okay, you can learn from this. Now that's taste. So apparently, according to what the cat refers to as... It's the rules. He can only speak to someone like that, like meaning where his lips move, once per person. That's the lore. If you're interested, you can read more about it in the A Talking Cat Compendium. Mom? There's a cat in here. <laughs> Oh my there's a God. Here. Thank God the mom was standing right there in the corner watching paint dryer. I don't know what we would have done about this normal house cat. I know there's a cat in here. It was just talking to me. Why is there a cat in here? Uh, did you just glaze over the fact that your daughter said that the cat uh, spoke to her? It just is. Did you not hear what I just said? She's clearly speaking from our point of view. Maybe it's hungry. Should I get it some milk? It talks. Like, it doesn't just meow. It was just talking to me. Like... Like, words, sentences, language, out loud to me. Where's your brother? This is why you have no imagination. A talking cat? He's still on the fence! He's standing over here like Forrest Gump just drilling the same piece of wood. He hasn't moved. What is this movie? When's it gonna be over? After the daughter freaks out, she goes and throws her freakishly large laptop on the bed. And the music goes eerie while she sees the dad from the first part of the movie on his website? What? Um, yes, is there something you wanted to say or? Okay, yeah, thanks for scrolling so slowly. I didn't want to miss anything after all. Duffy, what am I gonna do? Try taking a long walk into the woods. You will find a woman named Cheryl Bird under the 12th oak tree. God told me to do it, he told me she was a whore! Y you can talk? But only once? Yeah, you know, that's the rules. Shut up already. Chris! Chris! Oh, Chris! So after this scene, the old man has a mental breakdown in front of his mirror as he goes for a walk because hearing a cat talk scarred him for life. And I'm gonna stop talking to stray cats because that makes no sense at all. He decides to go on a walk to calm his nerves and wait, wait a second. I thought they lived by the beach in like Guam. Now we're like what, in the Pacific Northwest? He could just walk that far? They must pay a lot of money to reside in this multi-biosphere realm. You can get it all here. You stay dumb. I'm off to the library to work on that coach. <laughs> huh? What's up with you, cat? I'm a talking cat. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that a talking cat words came out of that mouth? No, I'm not believing that. You're gonna tell me a cat would talk to me? There's a collar my ears on and gave me. Buried under a grove of magical trees due north of here. Is your big fallen tree? What's so crazy about it? 
<laughs> You're a cat. You're a human. And now I'm about to blow my fucking brains out. I just want to point out that his reaction to the cat speaking directly to him is more underwhelmed than when he just originally saw the cat normally. Is that a cat? I'm a talking cat, remember? That just makes me crazy. I have plenty of imagination. <laughs> you don't have to drill that far to get the demon out of my brain! Oh, wait, no, you're kidding me. They're neighbors? You juggled these plots for this long to have them bump into each other 40 minutes in? I really thought they were on different parts of the globe. Wait, you're not a crazy person, right? I mean, no offense. Ah, yes, the classic psychiatric evaluation for all crazy people. You just walk up, yo, you crazy? What? Would a crazy stranger do something like aggressively walk closer to you after you ask him that question? So, she lets a perfect stranger into her house and they talk about cheese puffs or something. Cheese puffs? I'm not joking. My son doesn't think so. <laughs> oh, you have a son? How old? So, a wonderful Twilight Years romance blossoms here. And then they become friends, I guess. <laughs> well, why don't you make it your own? Well, I don't have much taste. I mean, look at me. I look like something that the cat dragged in. He's in, boys! He did it! He said it! <laughs> Oh, that's my cheese puffs. Oh, oh, well, let me help you with them then. No, 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 they're hot. Now, if you don't excuse me, let me, I'll grab them out of this oven here with my bare hands without any hesitation. Who's this guy? This is Phil, our neighbor. Duff, Phil, don't freak out. Don't freak out. You were warned, Phil. You didn't listen. So it actually starts getting a bit weird. These two are getting along, but then as he drops her tray that she really needed for some catering event, she gets, like, actually mad. My cheese puffs. Oh, I... oh no. They were dropped right side up, completely protected by tinfoil. Maybe I can buy you some more. I'm sure it's not that big of a deal, Mom. It is. He's up! Oh, he's, he's up! Hey, oh. So it just gets awkward. He suggests a way to fix it, but the mom just, like, is lastingly mad at him. And we were even rooting for him at this point. Jeez, that's real pain. But there's got to be something I can do. Yeah, you know what? You could go, really. Uh, 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 we'll be fine. So the daughter, like, tracks Phil down in the woods and follows him home, and then, I don't even know, the brother comes looking for his sister and somehow finds their house, which he's never been to before, and, well, it just really starts derailing from here. Hey, do you think I could take a swim? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, Phil. That is unacceptable. I expect more from my kids. And you know what? I barely know you! Oh well, yeah. Well then maybe we should hang out sometime. You're asking me out? Now? You're very pretty. Dad, but... please stop rambling. That's, That's not, not fair, fair, Mom. Mom. This is going so well. This is all Trent's fault anyway. Tina, Trent's fault anyway. Tina, Trent in the car. We'll talk about this when we get home. In the future, could you take your walk on a different trail? Everybody feeling good here? Yeah? Nice, nice silly movie about a talking cat? Yeah, okay. And then there's this totally derivative scene, okay? Really pissed me off how easy it was to see this coming. And you probably already know what I'm gonna say, okay? I'm of course talking about the scene uh, where they scan clothes with a fucking uh, bedside worm light for over two literal minutes uh, to test this girl's algorithm for t t to how to dress best on her computer program uh, that she made and needed Phil's website for some reason. What, you didn't see that coming? Also, there's this part where I think they accidentally synced up his lines to the music. Scan in. Yep. Scan in. Yep. So, after all this, guess this is where the cat's help comes into play. He goes to, once and for all, solve their domestic dispute. Well, that cat ain't talking no more, I'll tell you that much. What the fuck? The cat gets hit by a car? The first time I watched that, I thought I was just missing the point, but no, he really gets hit. Susan. So the gang all shows up to see the state of the cat's health, and I can't believe I'm actually saying this. We found him. The vet has made him comfortable, but... We put him in my room. Oh, God. Comfortable is the last thing you ever want to be when you're being hospitalized. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, Duffy. Are you gonna be okay, boy? You see, I think I, know, I see the problem here. I mean, it's, he's got a little, uh, let me show you. You see this? He's got a little bit, of, a little bit of this on him. You just gotta take that off. It'll be good. 
Be clean. Ready to go by tomorrow. At the clinic. I can't believe they're actually trying to pass this off! Is this a movie or a money laundering scheme? Somebody made this decision behind the scenes. I'll tell you what, he, he does look comfortable. Very comfortable. Too comfortable. What? Oh, everything makes sense now. Except that mage orb that just went by right there. What happened? Yeah! What happened? We did something. I'm Duffy. I'm a talking cat. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This episode of JonTron was sponsored by Audible.com. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be able to sit here screaming at Garfield phones. Please, have, look at you. You were a great sport. You might know Audible. If you don't, they're a company that does audiobooks. They got it all, and I personally use them myself. You can do the whole thing, you know, phone, tablet, computer. Take your audiobooks with you wherever you go. If you go use my specialized link, audible.com slash JonTron, you can get a free 30-day trial right now and get a free book. Uh, this month, I recommend to you The Martian, written by Andy Weir. Maybe you'll like that, maybe you won't. That's subjective. It has nothing to do with the sponsorship. Get out of my house!